I would say this is one of the top three songs I've reviewed from Asia. She's very natural. She's not a technically, like, she's not a crazy, crazy technical singer. A lot of what's beautiful about her is her fragility. She knows what she brings, and she brings it. Is she writing? No. No. This melody is fabulous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And her vibrato is interesting, hey? It's not necessarily super consistent. No, it's not. It's fragile. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, kind of yeah. like, it's really lovely. Did I say she reminded me of Jewel? Is that the one that reminds me of Jewel? So you would consider her vibrato fragile, but not, um, uh, like, uh, not... Not stable, not Unstable. Yeah, except it's, it's, it, but it's it, art, it works in her artistry. It's more emotive. It feels more emotive when it's out of control. Sometimes. It can get, it can easily start to sound theatrical, right? My yeah, vibrato yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. can be very theatrical because it's so, so consistent and so like... <laughs> I would say this is one of the top three songs I've reviewed from Asia. And JJ's Castle in the Air. Castle in the Air is my probably first, first choice. What's the second? This. What's the third? Uh, I think there's a Joe Shen one I really loved. Okay. Because she's a cool example of a, a not, I don't know how to say this without she's just not saying. Out. She's very natural. She's very natural. She's not a technically, like, she's not a crazy, crazy technical singer. A lot of what's beautiful about her is her fragility. Her, when she tries to do something agile, a lick, it just ends up sounding kind of busted and fragile. Yeah. Same with her vibrato. Her tone is bright and crisp and clean and clear and she's thick. She's unafraid of being thick and soaring and long, but it's not about riffs and runs and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's not the, about showing off the math things. and science yeah, of yeah. it. It's just like a, a beautiful... Like, too. Yes. It's the same type of... Yes, yes. But her she particularly has this fragility. And that is what she leans into, which is a, juxtaposed with this thick, clear, mm. soaring tone. Mm. I think she's really neat. She knows what she brings, and she brings it. That's the difference. So she covered um, Silent All These Years. Do I know that? By Tori Amos? Is that how you say her name? Oh my god, did I compare her to freaking Tori Amos? Amos, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, see, to me, her tone is in Jewel, um, Tori Amos, Amy Mann, I think Amy Mann is the singer I brought up. It, I think that's part of what I love about her, yeah. is she harkens back to the late 90s and early 2000s when this was a thing. It yeah. wasn't just riffs and runs. I mean, that was over in R&B land for sure. Yeah. But this like vibey character voice, not, it's not that it's unskilled. It's just that you could have a character and that be the thing. That was the thing.